Hello everyone! There is a new release on our channel today. We have decided to share with you 5 cases when football players cheated on their wives. Naughty boys. Let's just say it right away. We decided to skip the rather well-known stories of John Terry and Ryan Giggs in order to make this release a little less monotonous and more interesting for you. If you are ready for the start, then subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. We are about to begin right now with the top 5 cheating footballers. Colombian midfielder James Rodriguez divorced his wife Daniela Ospina five years ago. The couple had been married for six years and have a daughter, Salome. But despite that, while going through tough times at Real Madrid, the footballer decided to make a positive use from many parties he was attending. And once, having come to an event organized by Cristiano Ronaldo, James fell in love with the Russian model Olga Korobitsuna better known under the name of Helga Love Katie. They had an affair while Rodriguez's wife was in Colombia filming a TV show. Pretty soon the press suspected the player of cheating on his wife and the couple filed for divorce. It will hardly be a surprise to find out that James's relationship with his new girl did not last long. He parted ways with Helga and switched to Venezuelan fitness model Shannon de Lima with whom he remains to this day. Maybe with this relationship, Rodriguez will finally settle down and calm his impulsive behavior. Manchester United striker Anthony Marshall has been performing for the Red Devils for six years, but in his personal life things are much less stable. In July 2018, the English press learned that the Frenchman was cheating on his wife, Melanie de Cruz, with model Malika Semici. And at that time, Anthony's wife was eight months pregnant. The couple had a son named Swan. And in February 19, Martial regretfully confirmed his infidelity and publicly apologized to Melanie. I would like to apologize to my relatives my beautiful family, and especially my fiancé for the harm I have done in recent months. I made mistakes and I'm sorry it will not happen again," wrote the Manchester United player on his Instagram page. In the end, de Cruz decided to forgive her husband, but Martial's reputation suffered noticeably and jokes about his act of cheating can still be seen on Twitter. It sounds unbelievable, but not everything is perfect for Virgil van Dijk. Long before his triumphs at Liverpool, the Dutch defender played for Celtic and got into some trouble. Dating a girl named Rika Nuitgedacht, the footballer seemed to have everything he could wish for. They had been together since their teenage years, and Virgil's companion had always supported his rapid career changes. In 2013, Rika gave up her career in the fashion world moved to Glasgow with Van Dyke and gave birth to his daughter, Nila. I worked as a sales manager and sold different fashion brands to the stores in Holland. I loved it but had to resign to follow my man everywhere football takes him to, she said. And what did her boyfriend say? A year after moving to Celtic from Groningen, Van Dyke had a mistress. She was the pornographic actress Georgie Lyle. The player arranged dates for her in an intimate manner and, of course, tried to hide it from his girlfriend. Virgil even got himself a burner phone and asked Georgie to disguise herself before their dates. But the paparazzi still caught them together and posted videos on the network. Interestingly enough, according to Lyle herself, VVD did not tell her anything about his wife and child. So when she found out the truth, their romance immediately ended. The porn actress was outraged by the athlete's attitude towards his girl and daughter, so she no longer wanted to destroy what was already on the verge of collapse. Van Dyke, however, was one lucky man. Even after the scandal, his image in the eyes of the fans and the press remained impeccable, and Rijka forgave him for betrayal. 
Their relationship continues, and since then, Virgil hasn't been spotted in any new love affairs. The big lad got away with it, and we want to believe that he made the right decisions. It turns out Olivier Giroud is not a master of disguise. While playing for Arsenal in London, the forward cheated on his wife Jennifer with lingerie model Celia Kay in 2014. It happened right on the eve of the Gunners match against Crystal Palace. The player invited his Panama to the hotel and spent the night there with her, thereby violating club discipline. A week later, the British tabloids flared up with this dirty story involving Olivier and he had nothing to justify himself because The Sun published a photo showing the Frenchman walking around the hotel room in his underpants. The journalists received the picture from Celia herself. Giroud had to apologize to his wife, the club, and the fans. I apologize to my wife, family, and friends, and my manager, teammates, and Arsenal fans, stated his Twitter post. But the ending of this story again turned out in favour of the culprit. Jennifer forgave Olivier, and they saved their marriage, from which they have three children. Here is the most disturbing story. In 2010, Frank Ribéry contacted a girl of easy virtue, Zahia Dehar while being married to his wife Wahiba. The sexual intercourse took place between him and his mistress, but later it turned out that the girl at the time was not 18 years old. A young Parisian woman told how it was. Frank was a little shy, but we had sex and he paid me for it. In addition, Sahir claimed that other players from the French national team, Karim Benzema, Hatim Benafra, and Sidney Govu also used her services. Guess what? Each of them had to be pretty nervous afterwards. Ribéry was interrogated by the Parisian police and after that the court charged him with incitement to prostitution. The case was closed only in 2014 and Frank got off with a suspended sentence. However, he couldn't escape the consequences. The affair of the winger of Bayern Munich greatly offended the religious football fans. Because a few years before the events, Ribéry really cared about his wife and converted to Islam, giving up alcohol and smoking. He did not succeed in doing the same with an addiction to other women. And the supporters of France have repeatedly recalled that to Frank, especially after the team's failure at the 2010 World Cup. Friends, this is the top five we have chosen for today. If you want to see the second part of this issue, be sure to write to us about it in the comments below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the Top Football channel. New videos will be here soon. Bye-bye.